Guten Abend, willkommen zu Creepy Nibs. Ich bin Graf Chakula und today we're going to be talking about this guy. Rohr und Klinger Dokumente Schwarz. Probably did not pronounce that as correctly as I could. Uh, but yeah, this is Rohr and Klinger's document black. When they say it's waterproof, it's really freaking waterproof. Uh, it comes in this box. Open the box. Take the bottle out. I like this box. I like this box quite a bit. Uh, yes. It looks a little bit weird in person, but I adjusted the white balance so that it show the ink better. So ignore how orange this looks. So here's the bottle. 50 milliliters. But yeah, it's document ink conforms. Apparently, it's the first fountain pen ink formulated to uh, to meet the resistance criteria of DINISO 12757-2, which I've tried to do a little bit more research on, but it didn't really tell me anything unless I paid like 40 bucks to read the whole thing. Not doing that. I don't care that much. So there's that. Pens. No, 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 not yet. Friggin' coloring swatch. Why did I not bring that out? Okay. Sorry about that. Here it is. Look at that. It's like an olive green sheen. That's awesome. Um, and as you can kind of see behind the sheen, this is not the darkest black ink ever. Uh, here it is with some of the other blacks in my collection. This here is Texas Black Bat. It's a little lighter than that one. I don't really have anything I could compare to it. Uh, Noodle is black, but this is darker. Um, no. Everything just swatched with a buttload of sheen. Uh, but as you can see, compare this black. Words, I can do it. Oh, no, 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 no. It's, this is shiny ass diatromentous archiving. But it's warmer than a lot of the other ones. It's got. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like I said, I can't really compare it to anything else, really. Here it is with Vortex Motion. And this is more of a forest green sheen, and this is. or an emerald, and this is olive. Which is pretty cool. I like blacks with sheen. That's like, it's, it's really fun because I love sheen and I love black inks and to combine the two is a happy, happy time. Pens I used for testing. Mm. Uh, these are my three Kaveco Sports. This is my new Frosted Sport. It has an extra, extra fine black nib, and it's freaking gorgeous. Oh, it's gorgeous. Look at that. That is just one sexy fucking pen. Uh, so that's that. It was grown by uh, Pablo at fpnibs.com. Check it out. He's pretty great. I love this nib. This nib used to live in this pen, which is a Caveco All Sport. And I've switched the nibs on them. So this has a medium nib tuned by Dan Smith at uh, nibsmith.com or nibsmith.com. There we go. I can do things correctly. Here's my Kaveco Ice Sport in black. This one has a double broad. Yeah. So I figured I'd go with like... I was going to just use the extra extra fine in the double broad but then I'm like wait no that wouldn't be really fair so I need to use something moderate so I used three pens for this test today uh, over to the side chromatography that I should have done like when I talked about the pens all right normal one let it dry no don't let it dry instantly dunk it in the water and see what happens and this is what happened do, do. Let's zoom in so it'll be easier. Okay. 
So that's where the line was put, and you can see it start to sink into the paper already. Like that dark halo around it, and then it pushed some other stuff up. Here's the one that I did when I wrote them both at the same time. I took this one out of the water, and I put this one in the water, and I had more ink on this side, so I guess that didn't really have enough time to bond to the paper, but uh, yeah, that's this part didn't move. Here's the one I did when I let the fir when, uh, first one dried, and then I put this one in, and it did absolutely nothing. Water went up to here, approximately. So, that's that. And here's one that I did where I let, uh, I allowed myself time to cap the pen before I dunked it in the water, and this is what happened. How cool is that? So you get, like, no time. And this ink is totally, completely waterproof, as we will see right about now. Okay, shoot. All right. Claire Fontaine, 90 grams per square meter. Do, do, do. Here's the writing sample of the triple X refine. Performance A plus Gold Star Caveco All Sport Medium All good there. You're starting to see a little bit of that sheen there. I don't know if it'll catch. Um, ah, there we go. Now you can see it. And then Caveco I Sport Double Barad. definitely see the sheen in the, the printing, which I'm not very good at, so, yeah. Dry times, 8 seconds in the triple extra fine, 13 seconds in the medium, and 50 seconds in the double broad. So this is why I'm kind of glad that I tested a, a medium nib as well, because you get a good sense of, you know, being reasonable, this is what'll happen. And swatch with all that sheen. And you may be thinking, but Count, Count, you didn't leave room for the water test. Haha, -ha, but that's where you're wrong, kiddos. This is the water test. So what I did was I just dipped it in this bucket of water, like half of it up to about here. You can see where the paper starts to get angry. Um, and yeah, did not do anything. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. 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 Tra-la-la. -la. So yes, there's that. And of course, there's no, no bleed. You can kind of see something on the other side, so that, was, so that should get foreshadowing into what ghosting is going to look like. Cause this ain't ghosts. And it's spooky. You know, normally I'd like ghosts, but I don't like these kind. Do-do. Fabiano. My writing with an extra, extra, extra fine nib is not as good as my writing with a medium or a broad nib. But I wish it was, because I love writing fine. Um, I actually pretty... I, I really kind of liked this ink on this paper, like the writing experience of it. So maybe I'm starting to warm up to the Fabriano. Um, there's some sheen there. Three seconds in the extra, extra, extra fine. Eleven seconds in the medium, and thirty-three in the double broad. So that's that's pretty cool. And then swatch. So you can see in the lighter parts, it doesn't look like a super dark black, but in the writing, it looks pretty friggin' dark. I don't know because I think the sheen gets in the way, or just enhances everything and makes it better. This is where I scratched the back of the nib into the paper because this ink hard starts like crazy. Like, it is bonkers hard starting. Constant. Oh my god, I had to have, a, like, a piece of paper. Well, no, I use a piece of watercolor paper to do my test sign, um, and I constantly, every single time I uncapped a pen, I'd have to, like, rub it on the textured watercolor paper to see, um, 
if it would work, and it did eventually because I wouldn't be able to write otherwise. Okay, Rhodia, 80 grams per square meter. Oh my god, I've been rambling so much, I gotta stop. Focus, focus, let's get on with the show. All right. There we go. There we go. I didn't really like this ink on this paper. I see some texture in it. That's not really my bag. But yeah, performs just fine, really. Dry time, 7 seconds in the extra, extra, extra fine, 9 in the medium, and 30 in the broad. So that wasn't too bad. But since this ink kept hard starting like crazy, I'm not sure how dry this, these strokes are, or how wet they are. Because sometimes, as we'll see later, dry times get way overextended. And... Definite ghosting. Total ghosty. No bleed, though. No bleed. Here it is on the Tomoe River 68 gram cream paper. And I really liked it on this paper. I really like this paper in general, but, uh, yeah. That sheen. Oh my god, I friggin' love it. Uh, okay, so I had to move the dry times around on the page. Uh, five seconds in the triple extra fine. A+, plus, but it's also a triple extra fine nib. Took 13 in the medium. Good number, I like that number. And 66 in the double broad. So that's, that's a jump. So this puts out a really wet, fat line of ink. Tomoe River, 50, fuck. Ghosting, yes, it happened. Tomoe River, 52 gram. I dig it. There's more of that sheen, especially in that double broad. Huh. Do, do. Do, do. Do, do. Yes. Dry times. 10 seconds in the triple extra fine. Awesome. 11 in the medium. Holy shit, that's like instant for Tomoe River. And 30 in the double broad, but that stroke was not the best. And then, swatch. Of course, water test. Absolutely nothing. Ghost AF. Especially in that double broad, like... Yeah, but it's Tomoe River. But you really don't get any... Anything serious in the... The triple extra fine. That's pretty badass. With the triple extra fine, yeah. HP Premium Laser Jet 32 pound, 120 grams per square meter. Again, the writing experience on this paper was better than it normally is for me on this paper, so that's pretty rad. Definitely not really a lot of sheen. You got some in the swatch, but otherwise not really. Uh, 15! No, no, that's a 5. 5 seconds in the triple extra fine, 7 in the medium, and 25 in the double broad. Again. Pretty big jump in dry times, and I don't know, you get the vaguest hint of echo, but since this paper's so, so thick, you don't really get a lot of it. And I have decided that, uh, oops, <laughs> spoiler, to stop using the copy paper I was using because it was performing so well, and I wanted to get some garbage, garbage paper. So this is the stuff I stole from work. And I don't even think it has a brand name, it just said Prime Source. So that's that's a thing. Maybe that is the brand, but spread like spread. Do Tomoe River. Whoops, wrong one. But yeah. Hell is spready. And feathering is somewhere in here. Not so much in that, but you do get quite a bit of texture. And you don't get a whole lot of feathering in the broad. You can see it around some of them. Looks kind of wooly. I don't I definitely don't like it on this paper. But yeah, you can see tiny feathers all over the place. It's like a bird exploded. And yeah, look at that. That is not 
very good at all. Dry times instantly in the triple extra fine, instantly in the medium, and like half a second longer than the other ones in the double rod. It's just in the paper, and swatch looks like shit. Uh, yeah. You get, you still get like tiniest, tiniest little baby hands of sheen. But otherwise, it's nothing. It's the bleed. So much bleed. It's not everywhere, but everywhere in the double broad and everywhere in the medium has some bleed somewhere. Like, look at that. It's like every word. But it's also an unreasonable nib on an unreasonable paper, so I guess that's, that's just how that goes. Yeah, no. Water test did fantastic, though. I messed up the paper, but yeah. Okay, so it's that. Staples filler paper spread, but sheen, but sheen. Really not bad. Really not bad. Bam. Seven in the triple X fine. Double that in the medium, 25 in the double broad. Machine looks really nice. Paper kind of messed up from the water test, but that, that's usually the case. But hella ghosting. This is more than we got on Tomoe River. Um, so that's that. Black paper. I need to speed this up. Okay. Uh, does it? Paper's too dark, it's messing up the stuff. But you can see that sheen when you write on the black paper. So that's pretty cool. If you have an ink that sheens and you write on black paper, you're only gonna see the sheen part. It's pretty rad. Finally, finally, about friggin' time. Maruman Namathony 80 gram per square meter paper. So, Again, this is this was the best writing experience for me because it always is on this paper. That's why I do it last because I want to end on a positive note. But yeah, it's great. It's great. You get some sheen in the medium, but you can still see the color of the ink. It's it's. I like that. I like that a lot. Why like, can't I just hold this in frame? Yeah, super smooth on the medium and the double broad like. Wow. And even smoother than it was on the other papers for uh, the triple extra fine. Yeah. This is great. I just love, I love this paper. Dry times were a little bit um, uh, 7 seconds in the triple extra fine, 8 seconds in the uh, uh, blah, 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 medium, and then 31 in the double broad. But honestly, compared to some of the other things that we saw, really good dry times. But yeah, I said hella hard starts and ghosting. But dry times and sheen and permanence make up for it. Love this ink. And I do. This is where I tried to do the swatch with just the back of the pen and it wouldn't work. Uh, I couldn't get the ink to come out after that point. So I dipped it and then I used the back of the nib for that. And you get See, this is why I like this paper with sheen inks, because you get the color that's underneath, and you get these bursts of sheen. It's great. It's really great. So, I hope you had fun. I had fun. This was fun. You can pick up a bottle of this, or a sample of this, I know, from Anderson Pens, because that's where I got mine. And, yeah, this ink is pretty cool. If you want a permanent black for, like, sketching or something artsy, like watercolor, do it, like, do it. This will totally work for you. I think it would look pretty neat in a, like, drawing setup to have this FDR gray and this document black, so you could do this for, like, the underneath sketch and then this for the, the line work, and you could paint over it. You could dip it in, like, probably acetone. Uh, I was going to make this video like sometime in the summer of last year but i had like 40 minutes of footage and that had to be cut so i just like nope nope we're not doing this it's barely bad like 
not as bad as this one was, and that's saying a lot. So, yeah, resistant to bleach, resistant to everything. Uh, you can't touch this ink with anything that isn't fire. So there we go. Roar and Cleaner Document Black. It's fun. It's a good time. D-I-N-I-S-O a bunch of numbers. So yeah, fun stuff. Bunch of Nazis and give yourself a present.